Hello, it's Katie, AKA The Literacy Mama. Welcome to my first long form piece of content. I'm very excited to get started with you. So let's dive in to our tips to helping your child fall in love with reading. So whether you're a teacher or a parent, I know that your goal is the same as my goal is with my kids, which is to help them become lifelong learners and to love reading and to grow in it throughout. So this video is just gonna be a few tips that will help you create a routine that will ultimately lead to the lifelong love of reading. So first of all, tip number one, read aloud to your kids every day. Probably not a totally new tip, but I wanted to just emphasize it a little bit with a story. So when kids come into kindergarten or pre-K, they're assessed at their reading level to see where, where we're at and what they need to know. And so the very first thing at that level when they come in is in the assessment, they're shown a small book. This is like way more complicated than the book would be, but just an example I have. So really short, simple book. And we hand it to them backwards and upside down. And that's just the first thing to see how familiar are you with books and how they work. So does the child turn it around, point to the title and read it? They get points for like each of these little things. Does the child know to open it? Do they know to read from left to right? Are they able to point to the words as they go? Can they use pictures to give them clues as to what might be on the page? So each of these things is a point in the assessment. And the work that parents do before they even get to kindergarten affects that test, right? To see where they're at with their reading. Reading with your kids, whether they're the little littles who haven't gone into kindergarten or you're just going into, and even the older kids, it's it's just, it's such a great bonding experience. It's a good routine to have. It's a great way to wind down at the end of the day, to tell stories, to talk about what you're reading. And so just never forget that that is something that you should be prioritizing doing with your time. Tip number two is related. So create a cozy space to read. This is for children in their own spaces. So wherever their space that they have, their own room or somewhere in the living room. If you create a cozy little reading nook, it can be a very welcoming place for the child to go and choose to read. And it's something that I also recommend for parents to go along with the read out loud time. You want to have a place that is just like your special place. It's your special bonding time and it's where you start to foster that love of reading. The next tip is to find great and engaging and fun activities. And that's actually what my page is all about. And I've created a free ebook. It's the ultimate guide to raising a reader and it has 15 easy low prep activities and just ideas. It goes into each of the main areas of reading such as reading comprehension and phonics and sight words and gives some specific ideas for each of those. So there's a link um, down at the bottom to download that free ebook and then you would get to join my mailing list and get updates and newsletters. So love for you to do that, to learn a little bit more. And I'm early in my journey passing on this knowledge. I'm a mom and a drama teacher and an English teacher. And I thought I should combine all these things and create a page that just has all of the fun and engaging reading activities that I loved growing up, that I'm passing on to my kids, that I've used with my students that have worked. So if you find this information is helpful for you, um, go ahead and follow along on the journey.